continues its efforts to bury power lines in neighborhoods to keep you from losing power during a big storm. But is this the best solution? Local 10 News investigator Jeff Weins here is live to explain. Florida Power Night Light now telling us they have 53 miles of overhead power lines buried underground. That would stretch from downtown Miami all the way up to Delray Beach. Take a look. You see them now here in Miami Springs, but soon they'll be gone. When Florida Power and Light and their subcontractors are done, 40 above ground power lines in Miami Springs will be buried. Isabel Espinosa has lived here 26 years. We get electrical interruptions. All the time? I would say a good 70% of the time whenever we have a strong storm that comes through. FPNL says undergrounding makes the system more reliable and less prone to longer outages after storms. Trees and vegetation coming in contact with those overhead lines was the leading cause of outages when Irma slammed into us back in 2017. We have about 83% better uh, performance from our lines that are underground as opposed to overhead. Gone are the days where large, deep trenches have to be dug along an entire backyard. There's now an in point and an out point, and machines do the rest underground. Neighborhoods are chosen based on past hurricane outage performance and vegetation related interruptions. So we have about 160 neighborhoods that we've underground with more than 100 projects still to go. There is no cost to our customers for this pilot program. It's included in our hardening effort. But it's not all picture perfect. With the lines underground, if there's a problem, it's harder to find. And once you find a problem, you may have to bring in heavy equipment to get to it. Areas where there is flooding, it may not be better. In certain areas, it may take longer to restore power if it's flooded and the power lines are underground because we have to wait for the water to recede. And that is a lot of South Florida. FPNL estimates up to 700 neighborhood power lines will be buried underground by 2023. We're live tonight in Miami Springs. Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News.